what is up Shark Army, it's your boy Sharky and welcome back to another video. Today we are in Stardew Valley and I am going to be showing you how to design and create a perfect farm layout on the Riverland farm. We know that these other farm layouts can be tricky to, to build on, you have lack of space, they can be quite challenging and a lot of people have been asking and wondering how do you create a perfect farm using these layouts, something that is productive you can use and work on, have all of your buildings and everything you need and also something that looks nice as well. So I went into the game, I made a brand new you save on the Riverland farm starting fresh and using the cheats and spawning things in I created my perfect dream farm on the Riverland farm and you're gonna see me do that today I made this from scratch myself I used the Stardew Valley planner which I've uh, made a video on before I went into that I designed a quick rough farm on that layout and then I've implemented it into the actual game and you will see later on um, me starting this farm from start to finish. I'll time lapse it, cut some bits out. I probably won't show all of it because at the end of the video I'll go and give you a farm tour of everything I have created and show you how it looks. I am very happy with it, it looks incredible. I spent about three hours creating this farm on the Riverland layout and I do really love it. Now just a quick heads up, you are going to see the game look a lot different. I have used visual mods, everything else is the same all of the same buildings it is the vanilla stardew valley no new content has been added or removed i have just changed the way the game looks because that's how i like to play on the pc i like it to have these visual mods so it might look a lot different if you were to implement this into your game but anybody can create this farm layout this is the legit Stardew Valley farm design. If you want to go ahead and uh, create it yourself, you can go ahead and do it. I'm not sure what it will look like without the visual mods. But yeah, that was the intro. You've seen me clear the farm, start a brand new one, and now you're going to enjoy the time lapse with some music and watch me create this farm from scratch. Hopefully you enjoy it. And I will see you at the end when I speak to you and give you a quick farm tour of the finished product. Got our windows down, driving down the 405, sing along to the radio. Mm -mm. We're gonna make it someday, nothing's gonna get in our way. We will be the biggest band in town. Mm -mm. Round and round the world we'll go, putting on the greatest show. So make sure that you don't miss out, just be there. We're taking our shot, bring what you got We're going all the way to the top We will hear the sound of one million people Screaming our names when we're backstage We're playing loud, surfing the crowd Everybody's jumping around Yeah, that's the place where I wanna be Going on stage headline on a Saturday night Oh, 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 oh Saturday night Gonna quit my job Never wanna have no boss I just wanna play my rock and roll Like they do on the radio Tommy's got brand new drums And I still have my old guitar And John said this next song's gonna be real good If you know what I mean Round and round the world we'll go Putting on the greatest show So make sure that you don't miss out Just be we're taking our shot, bring what you got We're going all the way to the top We will hear the sound of one million people Screaming our names when we're backstage We're playing loud, surfing the crowd Everybody's jumping around Yeah, that's the place where I wanna be Going on stage headline on a Saturday night
we were younger, we used to sit on the grass among the flowers. We just let the days pass by. People would tell us to get a grip of ourselves and get a job. We didn't care what we were told, 'cause when we were younger. We used to sit on the grass and go, damn, I don't wanna grow old. I wish I could turn back time.、Mm -mm. Stay up all night singing songs on the terrace. We didn't mind sitting out in the cold. It was impossible to make us embarrassed. We were free. From your parents, sometimes we got a bit out of control. When they found out we ran from home just to scare them, we were free when we were seventeen. From us. If I could go back, be seventeen again, yeah I would, just to see all my friends running around the city acting crazy like we used to do. Ooh, ooh, do, 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 do. I wish I could turn back time.、Oh, ooh, Singing songs on the terrace, we didn't mind sitting out in the cold. It was impossible to make us embarrassed. We were free. Do you remember stealing smokes from your parents? Sometimes we got a bit out of control. When they found out we ran from home just to scare them, we were. So there you have it, guys. That was the time lapse. That was me creating this farm from start to finish. Hopefully, you enjoyed the little time lapse there with the music, and hopefully, you're excited to see the finished products because that is what we're going to do right now. I'm going to quickly, briefly go around the farm and go through everything that I have built, and I'm going to explain why, where things are, what they are, and、uh, yeah, we'll just have a look at it in the glory. So let's go out of the farm right now. First of all, you just got to admit the game looks incredible. It's so pretty with the with the grass and the flowers and the trees, the wind animation, everything moving. Obviously, these are just all visual mods, really, really good. And I just like the general theme and the looks of the game. So yeah, straight away the farmhouse is here. Right next to it, we've got the stable and the horse. I love the buildings, by the way. The stable is awesome. 
the mailbox has changed, the lamppost, everything like that. So right here, this dinosaur looking statue, this will take you to the desert. These are the obelisks. We've also got the beach one here, it's the mermaid. And this is a cabin, so I can invite a friend over if I want to. They've got their own little shipping bin and farm plot here. If we go to the left of them, we have got the earth or the mountain obelisk. This will take you up to where the mines are, I believe. And just next to that is the gold clock and look how awesome that looks. This is a very natural looking uh, farm. All of the buildings and things have changed very naturally. They look like it's meant to be on this kind of farm. That's the little start of the, the farm here. If we go at the back of the house, I've got a little fishing area. I've got worm bins, recycle machines, and I can cast a rod into the water. Because of course this is the Riverland farm, so fishing is very important and there's lots of fish around on the farm. Also at the back of the house here, or the back of the stable, there is a few furnaces so I can smelt some ore and it's, uh, I've quite hidden them as well, so most of them, so you, they don't look too obvious. This is where the dog sleeps, he's got his own little place here, and here he is, with the cherry trees, which I've just harvested by accident, and this is my little honey area, there is a little uh, sign there letting us know, so I can just obviously put some flowers in there in the season, I'll have to remove one of these though, in order to... Uh, to get there, I'll just do that every season, put some flowers in there, put the bee house back, the flowers won't be touched, and I've got some honey. Just underneath the honey maker, and which meets the uh, golden clock here, this is where my pigs are, look at this. So this is the deluxe barn, got a little pig sign there, which says uh, the truffle on it, because this is where I'm going to make my truffle oil. Lots of grass, a big area for them to explore, they can go all the way down here. Obviously here we've got the oil makers, they look a bit different, I'm going to let you know what they are because you probably can't tell. And these are my pigs, if we let them out, they can roam wild, they can enjoy all of this grass, all of this space, and find me lots of truffles when they are older, they're still babies right now. Before we go down, if we go up, this is the greenhouse obviously, looking absolutely beautiful, and next to it we have got an upgraded shed, this is where I'm going to make my uh, beer and ale, so I'll put all of the hops and wheat, and I'm going to fill this out into kegs, that's not quite happened yet, I've not got the kegs in there but that's what I would do. This is obviously a sign for the mushroom cave because that's what I've chosen. I've got two silos hidden out of the way here with some grass. If we go left obviously this takes us up to grandpa's shrine. These are lightning rods if you're wondering what they are. Obviously they look a bit more natural, a little bit better. With some braziers, the light and here he is. He's got a little statue of a golden mask. I have no idea why because he was the king. All right we worship him. So that is his little area. I think it's not a very big area to work on so I didn't really know what to do there. So that is the top part of the farm done. At the end I will zoom out and I'll show you a full uh, like zoomed out version of the farm. So let's go down, we've got two gates here. I'm not sure if the pigs can cross this bridge but we have got a gate which takes us to the chicken coop and the ducks. This is where I get my eggs, there's the little sign letting us know. We've got a, a fruit tree here, pomegranates. It's not a very big area but you know, we, we managed. This is a small size farm, so we can't expect too much space. But this is where I get my eggs. We've got some mayonnaise makers at the bottom here, these white barrel things. So this is a little area for the birds. If we go left, the little gate here to stop them escaping. <laughs> this is another shed, and this is where I make coffee. So I've got some coffee bushes all the way around the back, and this is where I'm going to brew my coffee. Here is the mill. This should be wheat or beets, so I can make flour, sugar, and rice as well, but I was in the wrong season for that, because we're in spring, so I've just put coffee there as well, but this is where I'm gonna make all my flour products, as you can see with the sign. We've got a scarecrow there, some chests tucked away in the corner for storage, and uh, that's looking beautiful. If we go down, right at the bottom, you can probably tell what this is from the signs too. We have got the cows and goats. This is where we get our milk and our cheese. We've got a well and a silo on the bottom there. Lots of grass, some cheese makers here too, if we let these out. Like I said, not a massive space for them, but that's all they need. Cows and goats, they don't need space. As long as they've got a bit of grass, they'll be happy. Pigs are the ones that need the space because they find the truffles, so I've gave them the most room. But here we go, look at that, we've got deers, goats and cows, because I've changed the visual mods. So we've got some deers too. So lots of milk here, a very, very pretty farm this, it looks so good. I'm really happy with it. Now, if we go right here, across this bridge, of course, this is the Moneymaker Island. This is where I make ancient fruit. So this is all ancient fruit. We've got two upgraded sheds. This is where I make wine and jelly from the ancient fruits. Obviously, I can get these in spring, summer, and fall, and they will stay there all season round. I could maybe put star fruits there if I wanted to, or rare seeds. But we've got some scarecrows and junimo huts. 
Obviously, when these fruits are ready, the Junimos will come out and help me and harvest them. I'll show you that right now. And here they go. There they go to work. They're all coming out. And they are picking all of my ancient fruits for me. We have got Iridium sprinklers here. You can see all of these little, like, boulders. So they look very natural now, not bright purple. So these all get watered. We've got seed makers around the edge of here, right here near the water. So I can get an ancient fruit and I can put this into the seed maker. And yeah, these will constantly make me ancient fruit seeds if I need to, or whatever seed I want. But the Junimos, look, look how much they are harvesting for me. They are doing so good. And I can obviously make lots of wine and jelly. This is where my big money is. We've got a shipping bin right in the middle so I can sell all the products there rather than going to the top. Absolutely lovely. Now if we go right, this goes from the winery area and just underneath the gold clock next to our farm. This is my little fishing area. So we've got a fish pond so I can breed a very rare kind of fish there. We've got a flamingo, some trees, lots of decorations and of course the fishing area. We've got more worm bins, recycle machines. We've got crab pots or crab nets all the way around the pier and we can fish here as well. And any good fish I catch I can uh, sell or breed. We've got to get this on the farm because, of course, it is the river farm, so we need to have some kind of fishing area there. We've got a little campfire too. We can sit out on the log and chill. It looks pretty at night. There's street lights everywhere. So that is that area. We've got one more part now as well, quickly. And this is my wood area. So we've got a little wood farm. We've got tree tappers on all of these. If I want to chop them down for some wood, I'll just chop one down and replace it with a seed. But yeah, we've got all that oak resin and tree products there and wood. Here we've got some wood chippers, so I can put wood in there and it turns to hardwood I believe, or hardwood turns into wood, can't remember. We've got charcoal kilns, so I can smelt, I can burn wood and make coal. We've got a chest and a crafting area, so we can uh, craft anything from the chest there. My little production wood area. So there we go guys, let me zoom right out and look at this, absolutely beautiful, it looks pretty. I love the visuals, the mods have really brought this to life, if you do like playing on the PC, Maybe check out some visual mods to enhance your game like this, or if you prefer the standard vanilla vivid looks and then obviously keep it the same. I'm not sure what this would look like without the mods, I might have to check that out. But I like this, I like it looking natural, uh, I'm a sucker for these kind of visual mods. And that is the Riverland farm, that is a perfect design, you've got everything you need there. I might have missed a few stuff, but like I said, it spent three hours on this, so... Hopefully you enjoyed it, hopefully you like what you see. If you want to build this yourself, and then uh, I'll put a picture up on the screen of the actual whole layout. I've took a screenshot. If you want to try and copy this into your farm, then go ahead. Or let me know some of your designs that you've done on this farm as well. I'd love to see uh, some other farm layouts. But that is this video. That is me creating my perfect dream farm and it's obviously, hopefully helped you guys out on how you could create a perfect farm on this layout. If you want to see me tackle the forest farm and the hilltop farm and maybe the four corners farm too and you want to see a similar video to this where I go and create a perfect farm layout from scratch on those farms then please hit that like button. If we can get a lot of likes and a lot of comments I'll go ahead and do those kind of videos as well. But thank you all for watching. If you did enjoy it make sure you subscribe if you're new here to see more Stardew Valley content. We're all getting ready for the 1.5 update. I'm not sure when it's going to get released either the end of this year or next, I'm not too sure, but I can't wait and I'm so addicted to Stardew Valley at the minute, I can't stop playing it, so uh, it needs to hurry up, but here we go guys, that was the Riverland Farm, perfect dream layout, thank you for watching, stay safe, and I'll see you all on the next one, bye bye. What you wanna do now was to be afraid of